Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So today in this lecture we will discuss about chemical effects of electric current. Okay, so students we will start with the topic whether liquids conduct electricity or not. Okay, so in class 6 we also made a tester whether a particular material allows the electric current to pass through it or not okay but today we will also see that whether liquid conduct electricity or not have you ever heard or have you have your parents told you that do not touch any electric appliance with wet hands i hope that your parents must told you that do not touch the electric appliance with wet hands. So it is always advisable that one should not touch the electric appliances with wet hands because electricity gets flow through water easily. So now we will test whether do liquid conduct electricity or not. Okay. So in this I will tell you that we will check whether liquid conduct electricity or not. Okay students. So we will take some liquid like lemon juice in a beaker. So this is lemon juice. Okay. And we put the positive end or the negative end of the road and there is one filament this filament is called bulb this is a bulb okay so when the liquid let me write this when the liquid between the two ends of a tester allows the electric current to pass the circuit of the tester becomes the circuit of tester becomes complete okay student what does it mean is that electricity flows through the liquid so this is a positive and this is negative so when the liquid between these two ends means a charge flows from this end to this end okay so the circuit gets complete and when the circuits get complete, this tester bulb, the bulb will blow. Okay. So, from here I can directly deduce that liquid is conducting in nature. Okay. So, that is what I need to prove that whether liquids can conduct electricity or not. Okay. So when we will see that this bulb is uh, glowing, so we can directly deduce that the liquid can conduct electricity in nature. Okay. So students, in this lecture, I have discussed about some electric appliances, let's say some metals, metals always conduct electricity 
you name the metal aluminium aluminium iron copper okay so these are the metal through which electricity pass through and in some materials like rubber plastic okay wood these materials do not conduct electricity okay so first let me raise all this okay students so the material which conduct electricity are called as conductors and the materials which do not conduct electricity or which do not allow electricity to pass through it are called as insulators okay students so water is a good conductor of electricity okay so in the chapter on fire and what the name of the chapter was in which i discussed about when there is combustion and flame when there is a combustion or fire on electric appliances so we should not use water to to uh, like to lessen the fire because in that case water will also conduct electricity and the fire will not hold okay so in that case we should use co2 as a extinguisher fire extinguisher so we should not use water there in case of when fire is on electric equipment so that is why water is a good conductor of electricity also okay and in previous diagram i told you that water conducts electricity uh, by drawing a circuit okay and if you have still any doubt or any question based on this then students please do comment in the comment section i will be happy to help you guys there thank you and also download the app of scholars learning from app store or play store and enjoy the learning experience with scholars learning okay students stay blessed thank you